By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption sought to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Also, we thought it did not bring salvation. With us the conviction of a true It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony is overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. <laughs> Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special aboard the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. It was not alien, it was man-made, and it could be used to stop the outbreak. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an Earth-Gov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. So we're going to be doing New Game Plus with my uh, cleared save. I think I have a nearly full upgraded suit and a fully upgraded plasma gun. So that will help out a lot. And yeah, we're going to go for it. Zealot. Ammo and health are very scarce and enemies will brutalize you. <sighs> this is going to be bad. I'm really nervous about this. This is going to be hard. Because I am a noob. I am a noob.
Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. Oh, I'll play no, you back okay. later. It's okay. Good. <clears throat> right, Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. When Joel Wild lasts, you know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting out of range there, Isaac. Isaac? Isaac, can you hear me? I'm going to call you back as soon as I can, okay? Isaac. Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brandon. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac, Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> Shit. Get out. Running. I can do that. I can run. I'm good at running away. <laughs> Still make me fight them. We'll be good. Oh, oh, hi. Ow. <laughs> Hello. Jesus. Man, on Zealot, they don't fuck around. One hit. Boom. God. <laughs> okay, run. Oh, shit. Okay, running through. Coming through. Coming through. Uh, I'll try left this time. Excuse me. Pardon me. Don't bother. Don't mind me. Just coming through. Just watch out. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Don't don't mind me. Just walking through. Just coming through. Don't bother. Oh 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 oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I don't want you. No. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, thanks for giving me a hand. But I don't need it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. Things on max. Brightness is good. Alright. Okay. He tried to give me a hand, but. Yeah, didn't really need it. Save station. I can save on Zealot, thank God. But yeah, this is New Game Plus on Zealot. Oh, don't sit, don't reset. Yes, so we're gonna start our new one. 
So Zealot is the hardest difficulty. You can save as much as you want, but the enemies are really hard and ammo is really rare and am health is really rare. So it's going to be... I'm going to get my ass kicked over and over and over again. See, normal person would go the opposite direction, but since I, I am not afraid of any, any alien. Now walk over here. Now look. Ah, leftovers. If I went for those in the fridge, they might spoil. I repeat, this is not a drill. Not a drill. Okay, going up here. Yeah, I, I like Dead Space 2 so much but more than the first game. It improves on just about every aspect. Like, especially repetition. The game's a lot less repetitive than the first. What is... Now... Dead? Ew. That'd be really weird to be in a, a cage and people can see you. Yeah, my eyes are looking much better today, yeah? Don't you think? It hurts. It still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. Okay. No, 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 I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. I don't care. First thing tomorrow. Now let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like, but I can't remember what she The symbol, Strauss! What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault! I didn't kill him! They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this! <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Dumb. Is Nolan Strauss, Station One Five. Oh, what the hell? That's all about the symbols. They spoke to me. They spoke to me. I swear. I repeat, this is not a drill. Hi. Oh. Come on, man. Station 4, I remember you. <laughs> I do I said we, all the key subjects need to be eliminated. Listen. Terminated. <laughs> Which one more? Listen to me, man. What matter? Listen to what me! Matter? We can both get out of here. Just, just cut me out of the straitjacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Alive. Don't do it. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Go ahead. Take it. Uh, I won't be needing it anymore. Okay. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you.
He could still be alive. Hurry. CPR. Quickly. Quickly. Isaac, grab him. Perform CPR. Come on. He could still save him. Oh, damn it. I think it might be over. Uh, Isaac, I told you, you should have helped him. But you pussied out, didn't you? Alright, well. Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Yes. My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Okay. How do you stop? I forget how to stop. Stop. Oh, there we go. Ah. Someone mentioned that I didn't stop him to death, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that head. Should I should I grab his arms to arm myself? Because I, I currently I'm just, I'm, I don't have any arms with me. Should I disarm myself? Worth a shot. I don't know, that curb stomp. Gotta love the curb stomp. Alright, going down. What? Never disarm someone? It's really dark. Locator, press and hold R3. What was that? Man, it's spoo- Who the hell? Oh, it's some guy. It is dark as shit in here. Roar! Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Audio log. Orderly TPS report 1418. TPS report. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified of the discovery. Never fight a what discovery? What? Sorry, I, I was suppressing my. I sometimes I have, I have a dinosauritis where I sometimes roar like a dinosaur. I'm sorry. If that if that scared you, it was unintentional. I swear. I swear. I would never lie to you. Roar! Hmm. Sorry. I think someone dropped the soap in here. Blood leading out that way. Actually, my third playthrough. Uh, what the hell? I played this uh, three times. I really love it. Climbing through. I, uh, for some reason I can't get the sound to go super, super loud on this. 
I love the inclusion of this opening scene where they have all these jump scares and have you disarm for a while. It helps it. What the hell is that? Isaac, what happened? Are you alright? Why are you helping me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. What is this? Aim. Aim and press circle to grab and toss objects. Oh, how convenient. Uh oh, 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 I think that's pretty much an instant kill, which I will need on Zealot. You, Steve? Who the hell is Steve? Oh, Steve, right there. Can S I guess he can be my bodyguard? Hey, Steve, come here. No, no, hey, come here. Steve, hey, there you go. Hey, Steve, what's up? Hi, guys. My name is Steve. I'm gonna be your tour guide today. Welcome to Hell Hospital. To your right, you'll see our operations room. And down this hall, you'll see lots of blood. We like to say that hell is fabulous. There's no such thing as too much blood. Now, if you follow me this way, we're gonna go to the elevator and go to the next floor. See if I can take Steve with me. Come on, Steve. Thank you. I'm just gonna hang out in the corner here, don't mind me. Okay, now follow me into this scary atrium. There are lots of monsters here to kill you, so watch out. Okay, die. Die. Uh, another one. No, don't shoot Steve. Come on. Have some class. Uh oh. I'll save you! <laughs> don't worry, I'll save you! Don't touch my man! Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit. Uh. Here, eat this. <laughs> Steve's a hero. Steve's a goddamn hero. Oh. I got hit. I have one of their claws. I forgot I can use their claws. Hello, boys. Ooh, credits. Oh, that's right. I should stomp their bodies. Stomp their bodies for extra stuff. There we go. Credit. Looking. Okay. Sorry, Steve. Steve, do you have anything for me? No. Oh, darn. We'll check these other guys, they probably have some more stuff. Uh. Ooh, what's that? Money. I'll take it. Something's in here. Health. I don't trust it. Something's gonna pop out again. Anything else? I'll set it back down. I know, I killed Steve. I killed Steve. My bad. Can you go in there? 
Whoops. What's in there? Anything? Nope. I hear something. What is that? Evacuation in progress. I heard you the first ten times. Stomp. I don't trust that. R1 to melee? Oh. Okay, I'll make sure I'm grabbing lots of money. I'll need it to buy ammo in this. What's up? Sound like a cryy, cry, a whiny crybaby. 500 credits. What is up with you, dude? Shut up. Oh God, please do something! Oh God, please, please help me! Oh God, please, please help me! She's being such a whiny bitch. Oh my God, only three. God. They only give you three ammo per uh, thing. Uh, I need something to throw at him. Can you please die, dude? Health pack. Alright, let's go back over there. I'll help you if you shut the oh hell up. God, I'm all loaded here. Your heart's open, dude. That's disgusting. His heart's just sitting oh, very exposed. Uh, yes, I'm a Calm doctor. Down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my god! Fuck! What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! Okay. I just need this cryo to serve ammo. I'm gonna use claws if I can. Serve ammo that way. That still didn't kill him. Jeez. Try your other claw. Not. He's still not dead. There. Alright, dead. Okay, go through the door. I don't trust bodies on the floor. It's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. I should stomp their bodies. Forgot to stomp their bodies. Bam. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta can't, I gotta remember to keep stomping their bodies. Bodies can lead to extra ammo. Okay, I'm surprised that guy wasn't scr screaming in pain. You know, if your chest is cut open and split like that, wouldn't you be in, in, in extreme agony? Like the painkillers had to worn off by now. Body. Come on, give me some. Give me something, nothing. What do you got? What do you guys think about the new Dead, the new uh, Dead Space Three? What do you think about EA's decision to make them put co-op into the game? Because EA is now a there must be multiplayer and everything company. So I I don't know. I have to see like. Because there's nothing I want more in a horror game than co-op, so I can play with my friends and not be scared. That's like that's a, just a must for me. 